everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host, Phoenix, and today I'm joining my lovely co-host, Jolene, on this wonderful Tuesday. It is a wonderful Tuesday. Yep. Especially wonderful, considering what we are reading today. Yep. More One Piece shit. <laughs> don't we cool. only- well, <laughs> that's- I was gonna say, don't we only read One Piece, but we- we dabble into some Mario. Oh yeah, we did! <laughs> For and then, and look, I I need to go back to the Baluigi fic. Yeah, we gotta we gotta either land on it or have your choice, and you just pull it out. And you're like, oh damn, I wonder what we're gonna <laughs> slap it down. If it's my choice again before you get your choice, I'm just gonna. I'm, this is rigged. <laughs> this is rigged, everyone. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's all a lie. <laughs> just refuse to accept the. Uh... <laughs> You should accept the vote. <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, we're reading more Corazon. <laughs> even though, like, right when we're recording this, the Corazon, like, the, the first Corazon video isn't even out. <laughs> the Mihawk X Shanks got released today. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, yeah, I ain't getting any Look at us, that we're one. so ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Yeah, I, I, I noticed whenever I oh, wow. upload something with that's like, I because I mainly made sure it had 18 plus because of the context of it, you know? Oh, it, oh yeah. <laughs> those tend to suffer <laughs> a lot more. <laughs> but, uh, yep, so we gotta cleanse our palate. I got reminded of it, and now I get to read Corazon. <laughs> I don't even remember, but that one, it, the writing was good. Yes. It was graphic, but it was oh, it yeah, was so the, good. Yeah, the me was beautifully written, beautifully written, smut written. <laughs> we just weren't prepared. Yeah. Oh, you, you think I was prepared to read the Jack of scene? <laughs> Look, you'll get over it. Anyway, to our <laughs> new beautiful potential husband. Yay, Corazon, little BB. We're on chapter four right now. We just got revealed of all of our lore, and Mihawk was our. Dad? Question mark. Father figure. I don't know how Our much mentor. of a father figure he is if we're not with him anymore. He's just shipped us off to the navy. <laughs> no, don't flamingo. That's rough. Man. Yeah. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. <laughs> All right. Well, I do have a coin, but Jolene has like generously offered to flip uh, some kind of charm for us to to see who goes. Uh, heads, heads or tails? Smiley face or blank? I'm gonna go with the blank. Blank goes first. Fuck! Alright, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Chapter 4 is just labeled 4. Alright. Who? Miha. Gloomy guy. Very tall. You answer calmly, warming your hand to the fire. You glance at Rosinante. Not as tall as you, of course. <laughs> the greatest swordsman? I don't know about that, you answered. I haven't seen him in the last nine years. But then, yeah. I was a, I was a child, you whispered. It was the time when I escaped from CP0. Escaped? I killed everyone on my ship. You smile, tears flowing on your face. Horizon frowns completely. I didn't want more pain, so I killed them. Killed them all. Okay, damn, we're going with that Robin backstory right now. <laughs> I murdered everyone on my ship at the age of nine. <laughs> Dang, we're a killer. Yeah. <laughs> Sylvia, he calls your name quietly. Calm down. Dude, if I learned anything from watching SVU, you don't ever tell a woman to calm down. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Your gaze became clear again, and you- and you- what? You, oh, shiver. Uh, pfft, my bad. Forgot we're in the middle of, like, a fucking winter island. <laughs> Your eyes slowly travel to his kind face. Uh, uh, sorry, you whisper. Don't say sorry. Oh my god, this is just me and you talking. I just say sorry, and you're like, stop fucking apologizing, you dumbass. And I'm like, shit, And then sorry. you apologize <laughs> immediately after. Yeah. I did that at work. I, like, I stopped by the office to get, like, like a tax ID number so I can turn on power the next day. And I walked in, I guess I scared one of the ladies because they weren't expecting me. And I said, hi, oh, oh sorry. And I walked in. 
Phoenix, the apologizer. <laughs> <laughs> Rosinante lowers your face and comes closer to you. Oh, what? Who the fuck is Wadley? Oh, the cat! Oh, <laughs> I forgot about the cat. Wadley <laughs> hisses at him angrily, but you stop the red cat before clawing. Curzon stays seated for a few seconds, thinking about something. We're going to a town, he smiles suddenly, and, you're turn and you turn pale. His bright features make a strange tug at your heart. But I still don't have my foot, you protest, putting the, the kitten to your chest. I'll carry you, he laughs, picks you up, twirling a what? <laughs> twirling you in the you air. You know how you... <laughs> <laughs> what, like bridal style, I'm guessing? What happened to Rose. him? <laughs> what the f- Dirch de Waddling? <laughs> Dirch Denwald <laughs> falls out of your embrace and starts running around his legs aggressively. Is he trying to draw away my thoughts? Rosadante finally stops and pulls you into his body into a warm hug. Your breath stops and you carefully hug him back. You... you started, searching for words with a slight blush spreading across your face. Do you have food bonder now? He asks. You can't see his face. Just nod and bury your face into the black feathers of his coat. The past is in the past. You mustn't let it poison your present, Sylvia. But what do you want? You healed my body at death's door, and I will hear your soul in exchange. <gasps> Romantic! <laughs> <laughs> you shiver and laugh. He didn't ask it. He stated. You don't know nothing about me. But I know how to find you. He smiles, taking you on his left hand. Me? The real you, who was not hurt. And as your eyes widen, he trips over Wally and clumsily falls on the ground with you in his arms. Aw, oh, so, so romantic. What a heartthrob. <laughs> <laughs> it feels warmer, you say, walking by his side using a wooden crunch. The sun, the sunshine seems brighter, too. Everything does, somehow. This is the last day of winter, Sylvia, says Rosadante, but then gives a worried look at you. Don't want me to carry- Don't want me to carry Wadi? You shouldn't stray yourself. I think he will kill you at the exact moment you touch him. You smile, glancing at the cat, calmly licking his paw on your shoulder. Oh my god, that's so cute! I did that with my cat! Oh. I, you can only do it when they're like little babies, because if they're too big, they kind of just like sag around. <laughs> Probably. But I still love him, chuckles Rosadante, scratching his nape. He knows that he does it whenever he's a bit... abashed. Did I say it right? <laughs> yes, you Fuck did, yeah. you did, you're good. Oh my god, put the, put the tally of how many words Phoenix would say right. <laughs> it's just like, it just says one throughout this entire bit. <laughs> and while he always smiles one-sided with closed eyes, it makes you feel a strange warmth to the left side of your chest, like flowers were blooming inside. I mean, we do we can make plants come to life, so it's very possible that that is happening right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you say? I can't help but think of Hanahaki disease. Oh, <laughs> the, my first thought was, um, I don't know if you watched Ninjago growing up, like Lego Ninjago, but there mm -hmm. was like a scene where like, like Zane's a robot, and he says, he's about mm -hmm. to go on stage for something, he's like, I feel like I've had butterflies in my stomach, he's like, oh man, just calm down your nerves, like, no, actually I do, and he opens up his chest cavity and a bunch of butterflies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I, that's what it reminded me of, like, old funny, huh? <laughs> Wadi hisses at him angrily when he notices the reaching hand. Corazon laughs and shakes his head. Rosadante, you turn to him after the strange feeling left your heart. Hmm? Do you believe in the afterlife? How did this question come? He smiles at you and you turn red. Forget it, you mutter. There must be some, then he answers, looking at the sky. But even if not, dying won't be too bad. 
Doesn't it hurt to leave everything behind? It hurts. But sometimes a greater good is more important, he whispers. And you know he's thinking about law again. <laughs> I wonder what- His son. What? what? Sorry. His son. Yes, yeah, this little baby. <laughs> I feel like sometimes it's like we talk about One Piece. Yeah. And this is a section where it's like, you know he's thinking about law again. That's so you. <laughs> I wonder what not existing feels like. Is it bad? Was it bad before you were born? He asks. You were surprised because he keeps up this conversation. For most of my life, I was just a weapon. Nobody cared about my questions. Maybe it was. I just forgot everything, like when you wake up from a nightmare and most of it disappears into the void. Even the most terrible nightmares fade by time, Sylvia. Rosadante smiles at you. So don't be afraid of death, especially at a, such a young age. How young of an age? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid, just prepared. Prepared? I want to be prepared when it comes, you corrected yourself quickly. Rosan stops and crouches down opposite to you. You're afraid of Dofi, right? He asks, scorching your eyes. No, you answer, and make a smile on your face. Forget it, Rosadante. I can't tell you the truth, I'm sorry. I just can't. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> he doesn't raise, raise back yet. His face looks lost in thought and his hands remain for your- reaches for your face. You freeze down under the weight of his amber gaze. But before he can touch you, Hottie's claws his hand again. Rosie snarls and falls on the back of- with a shout. <laughs> you kneel beside him, placing the cat on the ground. It hisses at the man pissedly. Are you alright? You ask, touching his hand. But as your skin meets his, you recoil like something hit by lightning. It's so soft! <laughs> he uses a lot of lotion, I guess. <laughs> it feels unexplainable. You, you just go. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just go. <laughs> he uses a lot of lotion, I guess. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess. Maybe that's why his hands are soft. <laughs> I don't know. In the One Piece universe, is lotion a thing? I, I hope so. I hope, yeah. So, or else some of these people are going to walk around with crusty-ass skin. <laughs> you feel unexplained anger and pick up the cat, looking at its eyes. Listen to me, Wani. You will never hurt Rosadante again, got it? You shouted. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, now apologize, you huff, pushing this bulky furball in Corazon's face. Sylvia, it's just a cat, murmurs Rosadante, crawling back with a frightened face. He doesn't understand you. Bring it away, God! <laughs> 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 Meow. <laughs> Come and swatty, glancing back at you. Then it touches Corazon's face and strikes his teeth with his kitten paw. Like, with claws, or...? Or is it like the cat thing, like the little poop, little poop? <laughs> the I think it's just the poop. Yeah, I hope so. Or else he just has like a big ass gash. <laughs> <laughs> the man's straw drops as you smile satisfied, placing the cat on the ground. If we believe that he understands, he will have no choice but to do so, you explain. Raising back, rising back clumsily. Corazon sighs loudly and stands up too. Distrustfully eyeing Dush Drendel. <laughs> you hear music and laughter from the town, and the blonde jumps up. They, s they started it this soon? He shouted. You have to hurry, Sylvia. Wait, what? You ask, stepping back. Come, says Rosadante with an excited smile, and picks you up, pulling you against his chest. He starts running towards the voices. <laughs> the voices! <laughs> You wanted to stop him, but <laughs> the nearness of his warm body is somehow stronger. You close your eyes and push your cheek into his free skin underneath his neck. Why am I doing this? This time he doesn't fall. Just trips a few times. But you don't mind it because his clumsiness always ends up with the sweet, wide smile on his, on his painted lips. Dot, 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 and then dot, dot, dot. <laughs> You sit on a huge hay bale on the side of the town's forum, swaying your legs to the side. The 
folks are celebrating the end of winter. They wear traditional clothes, dancing together in the, cobble in the cobblestones while singing loudly. But your eyes always travel back to one person from time to time. Rosadante joined the orchestra to play piano with them. I didn't know he was that talented. <laughs> I, I had no idea that he knew the songs, but every, song, every sound that leads the instrument by his hands is magic. You smile at him happily, but always turned your head when he looked in your direction. But one time, you glanced at the piano, another man is sitting there. Corazon disappeared. He worriedly looked around the, the dancing crowd and wanted to jump down to find him. But a hand touches your shoulder from your back and you shiver, turning around. You clench your fist, ready to defend yourself, and stop it at the last second before hitting a child who jumped behind. <laughs> Damn. I didn't know we were a child of music. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Your arm drops a few centimeters from her face. I- sorry, you shouted, but the little girl shakes her head. Don't worry, she says, delighted, and you frown. I thought you were just joking. Yeah, joking. Totally wasn't gonna uppercut this child. <laughs> <laughs> she taunts to you and places a flower crown in your hair. You get embarrassed, hiding your face. Why do you give me this? You asked. Don't you like it? She pouts. No, no, it's not like that. She, you answer quickly, touching the crown. It, it's beautiful. She smiles brightly. It's a tradition, you know? Us, us children get to choose a girl we find the most beautiful every year. You're my choice. Oh my god. Oh, oh that is so fucking cute. Okay, children, this is the one point for children of my book. Everything else kind of sucks that one. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You turn red. Why me? You should choose someone from the town. No. Yes. No. You're like a fairy, she huffs loudly. Stomping stopping one of her little Oh stopping one with her little foot. I'm not a fairy. I'm just sitting here the the whole time. Because you're hiding. You're the princess of the fairies who visits our town every time in a few years, she explains excitedly. Where did she hear this from? My mom told me this tale, she sniffles. You watch her face for a few seconds. She looked at you happily, waiting for something. What's your name? You asked. Maybe I can make your day special. Hannah? Listen, Hannah, you continue, leaning forward. I'm the princess, but you mustn't tell anyone about me, or, or I'll have to leave this island earlier. Her face lights up as she falls upon your neck. You lean, you lean on your free arm in the last moment before both of you fall into the hay bale. You laugh and place her back on her feet. Thank you for the crown. In exchange, I'll give you something too. You smile. You move your hand in a uh, nen nenifar nenifar <laughs> goes out of your palm. With golden and silver petals, you give it to the child. Man, we just fucking make metal. That's really good. I want, I want to do that. I'd be so much richer. I'd probably be metal? a lot more debt. Well, I mean, it said gold. Gold is probably good, right? And the color is gold. Oh, sh never mind. <laughs> it's a flower. Why? Why? I didn't know, man. It says with golden and silver petals. Well, I didn't know what the if it meant like it was actual gold and silver. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you see it reflect in her eyes and she pulls the flower to her chest, whirling, swirling happily. Thank you, she cries. This is so pretty. You're welcome. But now, go. Will I see you again? She asks. Maybe. No real fairy will tell her secrets, Hannah. You smile. Thank you for the crown. Sylvia? Sounds like a... Sounds a... Sounds a deep, wait, a kind deep voice from your left. You freeze down completely as you turn around. Rosadante was standing opposite of you, but he looked completely different. They gave him a loose white shirt and a traditional embroidery and a dark waistcoat. They probably wanted him to fit into the crowd if he plays with the orchestra. So this is why he disappeared. They also removed his makeup and his hat. 
A slight blush appears on his face. He looks amazing. <laughs> Scrumptiously umptious, as they say. <laughs> You're the one playing the piano, shouts Hannah, jumping up. You're her prince! You look up at the tall man. It's your turn to get flustered. You secretly nod to him to play along. She became so happy from this story. <laughs> I am, he smiles at a, with a slight sigh. Sitting next to you. So, can you leave us alone for a little alone time? Hannah nods and tears off a little blue flower from your crown. Places it on Rosadante's wavy hair. He has wavy hair. I guess we don't really get to see it a lot. <laughs> he has a hat on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Thank you, he says gently. She wipes away a tear of happiness and hugs you, then him, before jumping down to disappear between the dancing people. <laughs> a fairy princess? asks Rosadante, elbowing your side playfully. I wanted her to be happy, you answer, smiling after the little girl. He's smiling too. The two of you sit there without a word for a few minutes. I brought you something, he says, hand you a piece of paper. You take it and then unfold it. You find a poem. You turn even redder. <laughs> you wrote this? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the <laughs> lyrics for the next song where we'll be playing. I saw that you didn't know them, so I wrote... I wrote everything down. Let's sing together. I don't know about... I don't know how to sing. I'll sing with you. You'll be great. He answered. Don't be afraid. It'll help you fill this moment and remember it. But I... Be brave, Sylvia. There's nothing you can lose. He smiled. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking I'm cutest weak. overlord. I'm weak. I'm weak. <laughs> you frown, looking at his face. The kind smile, the amber eyes with blonde locks, the sharp jawline, the little blue flower on the on the right side. When I read straw, sharp jawline, I thought he was like mewing for a moment, but this is what really <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, I'll leave. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining. <laughs> It was the most wonderful soul I've ever met. We will start in a half minute, said Rosadante, looking at the crowd. I'll help you find the melody. You can't detach your eyes from his face. Corazon's words orbit in your thoughts. You have nothing to lose. Before you can think about it, your hand touches his cheek. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Keep going, keep going! You <laughs> You pull- Oh! You, you pull his face down and find his lips to yours. Rosadante freezes for a second, but then his strong arms close around you as he kisses you back. You were right. You have nothing to lose. Happiness fills your heart, but a lone tear falls from your face. No wonder why you're like, he fucking readings! What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, beautiful. You know what? You get to read the aftermath. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, hold up. I'm giving it. I gotta take a sip of water. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> I'm sipping. <sighs> hold up. I'm so giggly. <laughs> I can see you. I can see. If I if I had a visual for what you look like right now, like, cause you, I'm, I know you're reading this on your phone, cause I'm like picturing you like mm -hmm. laying on your bed, mm -hmm. reading it, kicking your feet up in the air, doing a little hand motion over your mouth. No, stop! I am doing a little hand motion. I'm sitting up. I'm pushed off the lot, but I'm like fanning myself. Well. <laughs> oh my god, not the fanning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You did not take kiss. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm dying. I'm dying here. I can't. I can't do it. Oh, anyway, yes, up. I can. <sighs> Rosinante's kiss and touch are gentle and careful. His left hand goes to your waist as he pulls you closer to his body, and you smile against his lips. The orchestra starts playing in the next song as he prepared, so Corazon leans back. Why did you do this? He yeah. asked. <laughs> I wanted to be brave. Rizzy laughs and kisses your temple tenderly. You are. Sorry for it. You shouldn't. 
He blushed and smiles again, warming your heart. Tonight, we won't say sorry for anything. Let's be the fairies that that little girl wanted. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you frown and look at his face. Rosinante takes your hand and strokes your skin, and you shiver from his kind touch. He's like an angel. The, sounds, the song starts in seconds, he says. Get ready, I'll help you. But, no but. What kind of fairy wouldn't join them? Smiles for his own and starts to sing. You watch his moving lip. Here's the deep voice sounds with the townsman. It's perfectly balanced, never too loud or too silent. And after a few lines, you start singing for the first time in your life. You're almost scared of your voice, almost whispering the melody. But Rosanate caresses your hand and pulls you to his side. Ooh. Soon you get braver, <laughs> reading the lyrics from his beautiful letters on the paper. You feel so happy that your guilt loses, it, loses against it for now. Why not be somewhere else for just one night? I don't have much time to live, but maybe I met him to have Maybe I met him to have it perfect. Corazon smiles brightly when he sees that you're singing too. He hugs you tightly and you breathe in his scent. You have a wonderful voice, he says, and you turn red again, watching the lights in the square reflecting in his amber eyes. You too, you smile and answer. As the next part of the song starts, you finally let your voice out completely, letting it join to his. You imagine it like two rays of color dancing in the air as two birds from a forest. A green and a red. A few hours later. Even back at the little house, you can't stop smiling. The strange feeling doesn't disappear from your chest and it gets stronger every time you look at him. Lucinante lights up the fire, but it's not that cold anymore. Spring comes fast on this island. You're stroking Waldy's red head with one hand and building your foot with the other. Sometimes you make a mistake and a drop of blood falls on the floor by your side. Since it's covered with your ability as you work, flowers bloom from it as you feel like it as you feel like in your heart. Rosie looks there and smiles, making you blush. Neither of you talked about the kiss since it happened. They're beautiful. This room will turn into a meadow at this rate, he says. But his eyes widen. I mean, I don't want you to bleed or anything, I just I understand. Thank you. For what? For telling me they're pretty. You smile, stroking a little plant. Most of my life, I heard that these flowers are just evidence of my failure. Failure? He, said. he turns to you, sitting down. Yes. Who the hell says such things to you? My father. You, decide, you answer and decide to change the topic right away. How did you know about the festival in town, Rosinante? Everyone talked about it when I went for food, he says, understanding your act. Luckily, the pirates who originally owned the Opa Opa Fru already left, so it's quite safe for us. Until your brother returns. Yes, Dolphy. I don't know what's on his mind. Why did he shoot me and then left you here to heal me? I don't know. I don't know anything about him. You sigh. He's just a pirate, but... I met more kind pirates than marines. The flamingo is quite the exception. Then let's leave together, Sylvia. Shouts Sorizonante, touching her hand. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Like... We're running away together! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Where's the ring? Oh my god, please. Please give me <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> you have nobody, wait if nobody to wait for, right? You freeze down, hearing these words said aloud. He frowns and sits back. Sorry. This was too- You're right, Rosie. Don't apologize for the truth. You smile for a second before it disappears. But I can't go. I have something to- Close with your brother. Did he threaten you? Believe me, it's better if you just try to escape. Says Gorison. Dolphy is a monster. <gasps> I've- I have something important to close with him. You whisper again. Even if he is cruel, he keeps his word, doesn't he? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sophia, what did you do? He asks with real worry in his eyes. Nothing bad, it just... I just have to wait here. You answer quickly. But you should go to find Law while you can, Dolphy. 
The Flamingo ordered me to save you, not to keep you here. Because he knew if you save me, I won't leave you alone for it. So I saw Zanante. He was right. I don't know what will happen to you if you stay. I don't care. I wouldn't be alive without you anyways, he says, lighting up a cigarette. And what if you leave, then come back after I settled everything with your brother? I lied to you again, and it feels terrible, but if this is the price of saving you, it wouldn't feel right. Please, Rosanante, it's important for me. You mustn't get hurt, you shout and lean forward to take back his hand. Waldy Waldi jealously leaves your lap and goes to the other room, but you don't even notice. Coruscant's widened amber eyes glare, glare at your face and turn you pale. I, I'll think about it. He whispers. Thank you. You answer silently with a smile. This is the first step. You want to lean back to the wall, but Rosanante pulls you to his chest and hugs you tightly, pushing his pushing his cheek to your hair. You startle from the sudden gentle movement. Sylvia, I don't want you to get hurt either, he says. So please, whatever you did or agreed with Dofi that you don't want to tell me, please keep yourself safe. If you knew, you start crying and hugging back, your face against the embroidery of the shirt's shoulder, as Anante's arms close around your body. Why do you care about me? You sob. You pity me as me did? Oh my god, fuck me up! How dare you! I mean, at least he was there, you know? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was that? I what was no that idea. response? <laughs> Sometimes I just be doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's so real. No, he answers, then hesitates for a second. It's because you have a precious and good soul and it feels right to stay with you. I don't want it just because you saved me or because I want to play hero and heal wounds of your past. I want to stay here because there's a strange kindness in you. Deep and vivid. Just like your eyes. Ooh. You frown and lean back. You, he's blushing hard, avoiding your gaze. This man. <coughs> nobody, has said such, nobody has ever said such a beautiful thing to me. You say, and he turns even redder. You lean forward and kiss him again. Even if the guilt about the future hurts you from the inside like acid. He's so abashed. His soft lips are still so gentle and perfect on yours. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Warmth fills your whole mind from his touch, and you feel like it's his pure soul getting closer to you. Rosinante, you whisper, pushing your forehead into his to create some space, some place to speak. Until your brother returns, I want to be my real self you talked about. The one you showed me tonight, at the festival. You could become her for the rest of your life, he smiles. The world wouldn't let me. Do you think it's all- do you think it's right? What we're doing now? Asked Corazon. Only if you promise you won't get attached to me, you answer with a, quaver, uh, a quivering voice. Or it'll hurt you. What- what will hurt me? The truth I can't- I already got attached, Sylvia. After these two days, I don't know where you're hiding, but I'm ready to get hurt if you won't- if you don't leave me, he whispers. Wait, it's only been two days? <laughs> it's only been two days, you oh know? You're following a quick situations, oh. you know? Oh. Almost done. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> you didn't want to leave yesterday night, didn't you? Oh, you wanted to leave yesterday night, didn't you? You frowned out after his words, so he knew. But I stayed, you say in recoil in his arms to the wall, trying to heal your foot again. He lures. Sorry. Rosanante, you start quickly. You mustn't act as you do now. I seriously don't want you to get hurt. It's my fault for being careless tonight. Forget everything that happened. His face darkens. Sylvia, you're panic you're panicking because I touched you and I want you to well, and I want to stay here. You say you don't want me to get close, but you're wrong, you freeze. 
Stop this nonsense and say what you truly want, he shouts. I can help and support you if you understand. You have no decisions about my life. If I want to stay, I will. I'll take a risk with this and I don't want- Oh my god, I thought I heard something. I got so scared. <laughs> No, I'm, okay, no, I, I've lost it. If I want to stay, I will. If I take a risk with this and still want to do so, I will. Do you understand? You look at his determined face and slowly nod. He's right. Even if I feel guilty, it's his own life. I understood, he whispered, and he sighs. A slight smile playing on his lips. He lights up a cigarette. Sorry for yelling at you, but... This was important. You look like you'd break down in every second and you're so afraid of yourself. It's okay. You say silently. Suddenly, his expressions change and he blinks around himself a few times. You tilt your head, watching him. Something's missing, he wonders, looking around again. Oh, right. I didn't fire myself up since I don't have my coat on. <laughs> this makes you laugh and he smiles too with a flustered face. I'm happy when you laugh says Corazon, and he stands up. We have to fix this problem first. What is what is the use of my clumsiness without fire? Rosanante takes off the shirt he got in town, and you blush, seeing his <gasps> surprisingly perfect muscular body. <laughs> you seem to forget he's a high-class marine, not a sweet, clumsy man. He notices your gaze and turns red, too. I swear we were blushing all day long. Lucinante takes back his original shirt and coat quickly, and then gets a mirror to paint his makeup. Why do you do it again? Do you want to hide your face? You ask, and he shakes his head. It was just a mask for the Don Quixote family. It's a part of me now. You and Law both know this face of mine. It feels more comfortable. It suits you, he smiles. Thanks. He murmurs, pert painting his lips. Lucinante! What? You are a, you're a wonderful person. Did I say this loudly? His jaw drops as he hears it, making the rough, making the rouge, rouge draw a thick line by his jawline. Oh shit! He shouts, reaching for a napkin to wipe it off, but his coat reaches the fireplace from the movement and lights up. So you you quickly take a can of water by your side and pour it on the flames, chuckling. He's laughing too, a bit embarrassingly. A bit embarrassedly. God, I can't read no more. Yeah, you, you sit down by his side and take a napkin. Let me help. I'm not a kid, you know. He rolls his eyes. Red as a rouge. You smile and clean, clean it off his lips. If you'll stay with me, he starts scaredly. I'll answer one of your questions about my past for now. It would be too much to explain everything. Why am I trying to open up? <gasps> oh shit. Oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> the ember eyes are clinging to your face and he nods. You give him a few seconds to think, but he decides quite quickly. Ooh. I'm a full up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm a full up. <laughs> what happened between you and your father? You take a deep breath before your answer. Your body slightly trembles. You haven't told it to anyone since Mihawk in your childhood. And one more man. Yo, what? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to look at that. <laughs> I'm I'm the daughter of Vegapunk, and I'm also his his first human experiment. You whisper with a sad smile, painting back Rosanante's lips. He stops you and hugs you in a second, stroking the back of your hair. You feel his other fist clenching in anger by your side. Rosanante. Oh Another my god! <laughs> Bro, we're getting hella lore! <gasps> oh my god, look at the next fan art! It's so cute! <laughs> oh shoot, I wasn't ready! Oh my give me, give me seven seconds. Oh, you gotta watch an ad? <laughs> <laughs> no? I, what do you mean? Oh, that's crazy. I, I'm reading this oh. on my computer. <laughs> Me too. Dude, isn't it so fucking cute? Oh, that's so sweet. 
so adorable. Oh my god, it's our son! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yo, we just oh wait, 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 wait! I just realized. I just, I'm so stupid. Well, the age difference isn't that much because if he's like 26 when he dies, regardless, we're older than Law. Oh, thank God! Because <laughs> I just realized this is like right after you know he gets shot. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying? <laughs> it's like a maximum of eight years, absolute max. All right. Because I don't think we're 18. We're probably like 20. So it's like. Fine. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely not the worst age difference I've seen. Uh oh, <laughs> dude, I'm so it's sorry. wild out here. <laughs> to be fair, there's a lot of people shipping themselves with like delfs, like Smoker and Crocodile. So like, I I, I get it. I, I sorry, I didn't mean you? to call you out. <laughs> I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> 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 Oopsie. Yeah, all these losers <laughs> sipping themselves with, with with some sad, tragic kids from the North Blue, like like some 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 good persons just in love with Law and Sanji. Oh my goodness! What the? Nearly my my North Blue boys out of this. <laughs> Don't talk to me or my husband's ever again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you came out. You're like, oh, do you want to play this game, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> S serious time, I'm an actor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell me you're joking, he whispers. I don't. You smile, but it's okay. It was a long time ago. How can anyone do such a thing to a child? Well, wait until you meet fucking Caesar, man. That's all he does is experiment on children. <laughs> That was the logical choice, you answered, leaning back again, his nearness making your heart uneasy. Don't say this, he shouts. But I was, Rosadante. They didn't provide him kids to experiment, and there I was, a close and easy solution, you explain, moving your half-done foot. The plan is that he failed, mm -hmm. and he kept calling me a failure instead. My father is sure that he couldn't achieve his plan because my body wasn't good enough. What did he do to you? He modified my devil fruit before he made me eat it. We don't even understand them. Not to modify. Have you ever heard of Germa 66 Rosadante? Ooh. <laughs> Are you talking about my boy Sanji for a moment? Oh my god. <laughs> he's not even born yet. Oh, or yeah, he's like barely right. born. Yeah. <laughs> They like him for right now. <laughs> wait, wait. How old is how old is Law at the time of Rosadante getting shot? I don't know. How how old was he when his family was like killed by disease? Huh? I mean that's I mean that's what Law's how story old was... is. Uh, there we go. I want to okay, say up. like eight, nine. So ten. He was ten. He was ten. Oh, okay. So Sanji's like. Like okay, 80. hold up. Well, Sanji's 21 in post, Yeah, and, and Law was like... like 26, right? Yes. So, Sanji uh, was like 5. <laughs> oh god, poor Sanji, my poor son. They probably liked him, right? Or, no, I mean, they probably yeah. started hating him. <laughs> like, oh yeah, his, his mom's still alive. Yeah. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm they sorry. They saw a motherfucker right when he was born, he's like, I'm gonna hate this motherfucker for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's... yes. How does it come now? Vegapunk is always in, was always impressed by their soldiers. They can produce grown-up, perfect humans in a few years. But even the Navy's genius couldn't do that, no matter how he tried. Then they received the life-life fruit. Oh, sorry, the live-live fruit. It isn't a very strong one. Just able to create, move, and refresh plants. Rosanate turns pale. He wanted you to be able to grow humans the same way, right? Yes. It was a terrible power to bear. Imagine the navy with so many soldiers as they wanted. They could affect the whole world's balance. Thank God he failed, sighed the man, lighting up his cigarette. He grabbed a cup of water and <laughs> poured it on his shoulder when it goes... In flames. He laughs at your prediction in his 
bright features make you smile. You blush at this thought and turn back on your foot to finish it while speaking. Yes, he failed. I was unable to create animals, no matter how they try to force me, so Vegapunk continued to modify my body afterwards, with injections and pills. Naturally, none of these worked, but he never gave up. Soon my healing abilities appeared, but no one knew a thing about how it works. What are the limits? So my father came up with an idea. He continued to work on treatments to correct his mistake, and meanwhile he gave me to CP0. Their job was to discover and analyze everything my modified fruit was capable of. And they were very creative with the methods. Rosadante slowly nods. I'm I'm sorry, Sylvia. Don't pity me. I can't stand it. But did you have to if my father didn't modify my fruit, if CPO C Zero didn't torture me, I wouldn't have wouldn't have the ability to heal you. You whisper, and then a smile spreads on your face. All those things were worth it because you can live. Oh, what the fuck? What the- Did they... He frowns for a second. I, I- I think I'll be more than just frowning. <laughs> your whole personality is warm and bright, Rosadante. By saving you, I know I did something good for this world. This is why you mustn't feel pity or anger about my past. You say, and finish the last touch of your wound. See? Even my leg is complete again. He didn't answer. So you look up and, and freeze down right after. You see tears of his beautiful eyes. Why? You ask. Did I say something wrong? What's the matter? I'm sorry if I- Oh my god, this is me! <laughs> Sylvia is me right now! I would- I would- <laughs> Apologizing for no fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that yeah. he stops you. Just I don't understand. You dare to say you're not a good soul, yet every word that you said is filled with kindness and care. Don't say this. I do. He wipes off his tears. Sylvia, you have to know that. He stops and pouts with a bright smile. Oh, sorry, blush. <laughs> Amber eyes tr traveling away from your face. What? That I was so happy when- Oh, okay, when you when you kissed me. <laughs> but I didn't think I could kiss you like that. I didn't dare even if I wanted. What does this have to do with it? What What is happening? <laughs> you stop breathing for a second, and he turns back to you. Still with flushed cheeks. But if you were brave enough, maybe I should be too, he whispers. Oh. <laughs> and closes the gap between you two. <laughs> Rosadante presses his painted lips onto yours, and you frown for a second, still too scared to move. He feels your embarrassment and leans back a little. Is this alright? He asks, confused. You quickly nod and run your right hand to his back and pull him close again. You smile against his mouth as he kisses you, locking your body to his. Was this label mature? <laughs> just in case. Not that way. Okay. <laughs> well, I just want to make sure. Wait, where we're gonna like? I I see the the dark and Shanks Mihawk thing. <laughs> look, look, you are so traumatized by that, Jesus. <laughs> to be, dude, I. I, I like I've from all the fan fiction I've read and all the smut shit I've I've read I've never read a scene like that. <laughs> I can introduce you to some crazy <laughs> things. <laughs> Please no, I don't know if I have the strength to handle it. <laughs> anyway, keep going, keep going. Uh, uh where did I leave off? Oh, there it is. You stroke his face with your free hand gently, and play with his soft blonde hair. He resists before asking to enter with his tongue. <laughs> what are we, Rosadante? <laughs> I'm asking the same thing right now. <laughs> he rises in your body, in your hands, and consciously travels back to his wide chest, staring, starting to unbutton his shirt. Are you okay? Yes, he shivers. <laughs> are you sure? He, sh he whispers to your lips. It's a terrible idea, you answer. Maybe we both, but maybe we both have to be brave, right? Rosadante laughs softly, leaning, 
You lean to your neck as you f you free him from his black coat and the heart patterned shirt to expose his skin to the pale light of the stars. Dot dot dot. Did we did we do it? <laughs> I just want to make sure everyone's on the same page here. I just, I just had a... I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We're about to see if it's implied. Oh, oh, I think, I think it is implied. I wake up to the first sun rays coming through the window, lying in his arms. You're back against his bitches. Where's it on <laughs> Why did you say it like that? His bitches. How about, you, how about you let me go through this? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't make this entertaining somehow. <laughs> Rosadante is still sleeping with his face buried in your hair. His calm breath tickles your skin. One of his hands goes under your waist, hugging you tenderly to keep you to his warm embrace. Are we on a bed? <laughs> I thought we slept on the floor. <laughs> you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't know. Either way. Anyway, this is really Oh good. well. <laughs> His other hand was going over your body, then another, and then under your cheek to hold your face as you slept. How could I do this? I, f I feel our attachment growing stronger and stronger, but this is only going to worsen his pain when it ends. No, I have to stop thinking about this. I warned him, you decided to stay. I should respect his decision and be grateful for him. Was is, is the fucking dopamine gonna come back and just murder us? <laughs> God, we don't know. It's either that or torture. Yeah, that too. You move. You hit the black coat upper to cover both of you properly. Then carefully take his hand, stroking the warm skin. He mutters something in his sleep and pulls you even closer. I feel so safe. Will this little time left be like this? How much do I have until Dolphamingo returns? Maybe four days? I have to figure out something to protect Rosadante from him. I should find a way to keep him- to help him return to the Navy and tell them the truth. But I don't have a Din Dum Mushi to call anyone. Oh, that's the fucking transponder snail. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this is like, what's this name? I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> you sighed and carefully turned his- turned around to face him. You move a blonde lock out of his forehead, stroking his skin. His amber eyes open, and your heart flutters as he smiles as soon as he sees your face. He leans forward and leaves a sweet kiss on the tip of your nose, making you chuckle. Good morning, Sylvia. It's truly good, you smile, stroking his side. He has many scars from his past that your abilities couldn't heal, most from his childhood, but somehow for you, these imperfections just make him more perfect. Did you sleep well? But you hid your body in the coat to not let him see your scars. That he couldn't see at night. Better, but any time before. Oh, better than any time before, he answers, making you blush. By the way, I think Waldy left us. I checked it, but he isn't anywhere in the house. When did you get up? I broke my coat because the blanket wasn't enough. I didn't want you to feel cold. He's too caring. I can't do this. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I hope Wadi returns to his family. Maybe you should do the same, you say carefully. What am I doing here? You mean my brother who shot me? Law. President Day tests up. Do you want to come with me? He asks with, a ha with happiness bleeding in his eyes. I can't go, but you can, and I will follow you later. It won't be good if Doflamingo finds you here. We've talked about this before. What do you think about him? You think Dofi will be understanding? If I go, I can't even imagine what he'll do to you and... Rosadante, don't worry. I'm strong, you say. But Lod believes that you died. You can't leave him like this. Well, I guess in the can. He, I, mean, it's like in the... <laughs> I guess technically you can. He still thinks you're dead. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sorry. That was fucked up. <laughs> no, no, no. I know, but... You want me to leave, Sylvia? Even after last... Oh. Oh. Is he Ooh. saying that because of the heart Ooh. touch? I, I can't, I can't tell if he's saying that because they had, like, a heart-to-heart -heart and whatnot, or if they had... 
I can't. I, let's, let's, assume, we're, let's, yeah, yeah, let's assume both. Yeah. Oh my god. No, keep going. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You want to leave me, Sylvia, even after last night. Didn't it mean anything to you? Didn't I mean anything to you? You mean everything to me, Rosa Dante. You shout and regret saying it outright. You stand up and, and, and get back your dress, even if it can't be as comfortable and warm as his body. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> We're, sorry. <laughs> I hope that picked up on the mic. <laughs> no, you got it, you got it. <laughs> Where are you going? He asks, a bit scared. I don't know what what happened to me last night, but I can't continue the- <gasps> You answer. My leg healed. You can go. I'll leave this place. Sylvia, what are you doing? He shouts and sits up. Don't go. You said you can't leave this island. He stopped for a second and crouched down. He covered his face and gave him- Oh, a kiss on the mouth. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rosadante, I made a mistake yesterday, but- because I wanted to be happy. But you're in danger if you wait for your brother. You're like, you are like an angel. All I have in this world. Now, even if I met you only two days ago. Please don't force me to watch you get hurt. But can't you see that you're the one who's hurt? He yells at you. If I cause you pain, it will hurt me even more. He whispered to his lips and shook his skin. I have to go. Please go and find law. I'll sell the things I have to. Don't start this again, he hisses and grabs your arm. Stop trying to protect me. I'm not a child, nor weak. Yesterday you were happy and finally yourself. I can't imagine how beautiful what your true self is, Sylvia. Did you get scared of it? Scared of being lo Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> he started crying, trying to... Trying to leave, but he still holds your arm. Left. I should use my dough for to cut it. Okay, cut his arm and run away. But I just can't attack him. Why are you saying such words? You don't even know me. Come down, he whispers, deeply looking in your eyes. I don't care if we just met. I don't care if I get hurt. Just please, stay by my side. Can't you give us... This one week, Sylvia? I just want to love you. <gasps> Corazon, stop! <laughs> I'm deceased. <laughs> Dead. Gone. <laughs> Leaving this flame. <laughs> Leaving me in the field. Leaving the river at dawn. <laughs> All the power leaves your body and you fall to your knees, sobbing. Rosanante pulled you back into his arms. Slowly stroking your back and on, an arm. He presses his lips to your temple. I don't deserve him. I can't do this, you cried. If I told him the truth, he would go. But if I'm not able to do it, I won't want him to look at me like others in the, in the, in the fa past few years. My reading comprehension slowly dindling as this fucking chapter goes on. You can and you will, he states, holding you by his chest. Give us this few days, Sylvia. Just let us be happy together. Rosante catches your chin and lifts your face so you can look at him in his eyes. He smiles at you tenderly. Stop being scared. Running away. Whatever's waiting for you, I will stay here. But you can't threaten with leaving because this is the only way you'll hurt me. He caresses your chin. Don't you want to stay with me? He whispers. Your body trembles and he pushes your forehead to yours. Promise me that this will be the last time you try to make me leave. I... I promise you cry. And Rosadante smiles brightly, wiping off your tears. I won't regret it, Sylvia. He says and carefully puts you down to his side, reaching for his shirt. For now, we're going into town. Why? So I have to know what happens to the fairy prince and princess at the end of that tale. He smiles. Corazon smiles and your heart skips a beat. You want to know too, don't you? More than anything, you answer and move his hand away to fix his, his shirt and 
that he buttoned up too clumsily. Oh shit! We get married. We okay. get married. All right, we're getting married. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow! Wow! Dude, what a good fan fiction! I'm so glad you found this on a whim. <laughs> I know. Think it, it was actually brought to me by God. God came. It was down brought to me by Rosinante himself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rosinante personally. Came. <laughs> yeah, he he personally. He was like. Jolene! <laughs> Jolene! I come back from the grave to give you this beautiful story! And you're like, what the fuck? Why did you show it in what pad? And he's like, goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy! <laughs> Fades away. It's like the fucking, uh, like, the JoJo thing at the end of the season where they have, like, the dead people, like, show up in the clouds. It's like, <laughs> so what? I don't know, like, oh shit, have you never watched JoJo's? I have not. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> You're good, I just, you know. I've only watched, like, what is it, part three? I only got up to that part before I got pissed off at part four, but at the end of it, they like, they're like, thanks guys for helping us get here, and then they show the people that helped along the way, and like, the clouds are like, gonna fade in. <laughs> I like to think about is like people editing dead people into the cloud, <laughs> yeah. like those t-shirts. Oh That's all I think about. <laughs> well, fucking like the cowboy things. <laughs> huh? Oh shit! What? I don't know. I st like you'll see like a like a cowboy be like singing and whatnot, and then you see like just like the exact same image, just like just like flipped and then put up in the like low transparency and then put them in the sky. <laughs> I don't know if that- okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't think that- Maybe I'm just shitting, like, bullshit right now, I, but I- I swear. <laughs> I've seen this. <laughs> but you know what? You know what's gonna be even better? When we spin the wheel and figure out what fanfiction we can turn. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, the wheel. The wheelie wheel. The wheelie wheel. The wheeliest wheel. Yay! Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's in fucking light mode. <laughs> I can't turn it off. <laughs> Oh well. It's a jump scare every time I do it. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm honestly, I don't know why I'm scared. <laughs> wow! <laughs> do we get to reroll if it's the same one, or do we keep it? I think we keep it. There was another fic we, we did two in a row for. Did we? I can't remember what it was. Was it the Bowiji? Because I, I think that was like, you got spun as your choice, and then you're like, alright, we're reading this again. <laughs> Do you want to roll again? We could roll again, we just read a chorus. <laughs> I mean, if you- you hit rock paper- wait, hold up. How do we do rock, I was gonna paper, say rock scissors? paper scissors, <laughs> but you can't really see that. Yeah, I- <laughs> Rock paper scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Hold on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea, I have an idea. We'll both send each other a number at this- a number- Or- uh, or here, I'll open up a, a new wheel that says spin again, or no. You know what? Yeah, why the hell not? I just- spin again or no spin. Alright. <laughs> spin or no spin? Oh gosh. All right, we're in cores on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. Wow. Don't get me wrong. I'm very excited to read the cores on book again. <laughs> you just wanted something new. Yeah. Oh, we can spin then. Yeah, go for it. Spin. Oh shit! Now I'm gonna pull back up. <laughs> yeah, let's do it again. All right, hold on. If you wanted some variety, just let me know. Alright, hold on, we're pulling this shit back up. Watch if we spin it again and it just lands on a- <laughs> It just lands on it again. That'll be so funny. I don't know, it could land on Mihawk X Shanks or Shanks X Reader. Okay, that could be- Oh! Oh, look at seeing- Oh my gosh! We haven't gone back to that one in a minute. See, I'm full of great ideas. <laughs> I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda excited for that sound, Gene City. 
I was me too. I was like, I don't know what if I have a one in mind. <laughs> <laughs> we already started it. We already started one for Vicate. We did? Oh yeah, we did! The the Arcan one. Arcane. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm so smart. I know how to read. <laughs> Dude, I'm very excited. Honestly, it was a very good buck and whatnot, even though I have like no idea what, what uh like Arcan is. But I love the way it's written and I love it. <laughs> I'm glad you do, I'm glad you do. You yeah. know what just got recommended to me? What? One of the number two fix under Yonder AX Reader and oh. it has been hotel and hell of a boss. No <laughs> Dude, right now I'm kinda like I'm reading like a has been hotel fanfiction on AO3 right now. Oh, okay. Well you I, <laughs> I'm on I chapter pretty... eighteen right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, how many what's the word count? I have no idea, I didn't check. <laughs> oh. They're pretty long chapters. And it's like a back and forth relationship between like us and Vox and then us and Alistair. But it takes place oh my in, like, God, the in the world. middle. I know, in the right? middle. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Very interesting. It's like um, we're it takes place in like on Earth and well, during the 1920s and like Alistair's uh, like a radio host. Vox is a detective along with us. Like we're both partners in the. Uh, at the, the police department, we're trying to solve, like, the, the serial killer murders that are happening and that Alistair's behind and whatnot. So it's very interesting. And then you get to see, like, Valentino and Velvet show up. Charlie's our roommate that lives with us. You get to see oh, Nifty cute. and Musk. And, Wait, um, okay, Rose... if Charlie lives with us, does, um... Maggie? No, she hasn't been mentioned. What? I this know. is Maggie Maybe Eraser. Later on. I can I, I will not stand for this. Uh, Angel Dust is in it, and they actually use his, like, his name, uh, Anthony in it. Mm-hmm. It's very- it's very well done, it ties all the characters together pretty well. And that they're- they're just all happen to be living in New- New Orleans. <laughs> but, uh... What's my line? <laughs> but- <laughs> Thank you for watching! Thank the you. end card! <laughs> Yay! Actually, I just got a brand new end card and whatnot for. Ooh. Yes, I had I had someone named Leslie make it. They're really cool and whatnot. And um, what are else in my lines? I, I keep <laughs> I keep forgetting what I'm supposed to be saying during these parts. It's like when I'm trying to. Like, Thank you for know. watching. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy. We have so many other. Uh, love well, book clubs yeah. with things that don't include me and include me. Yeah. Watch the ones that I'm in. <laughs> yeah, we had stuff with Koda. Or we tune had stuff with into a live stream on Saturday, maybe. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you going live Saturday? I always go live Saturday. I usually play with the boys. There we go! <laughs> I don't know well... Every Saturday I go live, so that's always only the consistent live streaming schedule I have because I do it whenever I want. Look at you. Yeah. But, uh, yep, on screen, like Jolene said, will be a playlist of all other Wattpad reading books and whatnot, followed by, like, a most recent Wattpad story that I think you guys would enjoy a lot. And then my channel thing, if you guys want to fucking subscribe and maybe, like, I don't know, like the video. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe finger, you know. Finger you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> this is a well pushing a button. <laughs> and it did like four pointer fingers pointing at the leg button. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Jolene. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>